So with the launch of Battlefield 4 well and truly underway, we now turn our attention to some of the DLCs that are going to be coming out in the next couple of months. And so today I have a Battlefield 4 news video for you and we're going to be focusing on the China Rising expansion. It's set to release on the 3rd of December for premium members and some information has come out about what is going to be included in that DLC. Now I think it's worth mentioning just very quickly that all of the DLCs for Battlefield 4 are being made by DICE LA. Now of course they are the Los Angeles branch of DICE's headquarters in Sweden and a lot of those developers are made up of some of the Danger Close guys that developed Medal of Honor Warfighter. And that leads me on to the first edition in China Rising, the SUAV that made a presence in Medal of Honor Warfighter will be making a return in Battlefield 4. For those of you that aren't sort of clued up with what this thing actually is, it's a handheld UAV that will circle the battlefield and sort of do something like a sector scan and will be able to show up all the enemies in the area. And just like Medal of Honor Warfighter, you will be able to throw it at people's faces and kill them. So we can already see the influence of Medal of Honor Warfighter pushing its way into Battlefield 4 as if the kill cam wasn't enough, we've now got the SUAV coming back. I'm not entirely sure how to take this because Medal of Honor Warfighter didn't turn out very well. I personally thought it was quite a good game but it had a lot of game breaking bugs and EA didn't really give it a chance, it sort of cut it before it even had a chance to get going so perhaps we'll see some more influences of Warfighter as we go along with Battlefield 4 but only time will tell to see if those actually work. But that's not the only thing making a return. Air Superiority, a game mode that was rejuvenated in Battlefield 3 Endgame, will be brought into Battlefield 4 for the China Rising DLC. Now I for one aren't too interested in air vehicles or jets or anything like that, it's just not really my thing. But it's nice to see that DICE really are looking at the community and going, look, you really enjoyed this in Battlefield 3, we're going to give it to you in Battlefield 4. And I can see a lot of jet fans rejoicing over that. And from the same source, it has been confirmed that the dirt bikes will be returning to Battlefield 4. I don't think this is such a major addition anymore, considering Battlefield 3 brought that back anyway. I was kind of thinking that dirt bikes should have been in there to start with, but uh, we were only left with quad bikes and jet skis, but it's still nice to see it making its way back in. All of these reveals have come from the trophy list on PlayStation Network. Now there's one more that I do want to note, and that's the fact that one of the assignments is to get a kill with the bomber. Now if you cast your minds back to the end of May and June, you'll remember at the multiplayer reveal for Battlefield 4, at the end of one of the trailers we got a sneak peek of the China Rising DLC, and one of the screens showed the bomber flying over one of the maps, so it looks as if it's now been confirmed that the bomber will be making a presence in the China Rising DLC. So with all that information in mind, I'm not entirely surprised to be perfectly honest. It's still good to know that these things are coming into the China Rising DLC, but we knew from Battlefield 3 that a lot of the things that were in there were being tested specifically so they could be put into Battlefield 4. So it's good to see that DICE have now chosen to do that, but as I say, I'm not entirely surprised. Still, it will be nice to get our hands on the four new maps that will be coming with China Rising as well. Those names haven't been confirmed yet, although you know I'll be doing a video when they are. But thank you for watching this video guys, please leave a like and a comment, it's always appreciated. Other people do need to see this information as well. But until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.